Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step instruction on how to fix Windows Store problem. Let's say if you're not able to open Windows Store or if Windows Store is not working, then you may try these following steps. In case if one step doesn't work, I'm going to add uh, more steps on this video. Uh, please watch this video till the end and try all the steps what I'm going to uh, demonstrate on how to fix the Windows Store issue. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if the problem is solved or not. Um, now let's get started. Now the first step, what you need to do is, um, the first and foremost step is you will have to go ahead and ch uh, check the regional settings. So in order to check the regional settings, you will have to click on the Windows icon. Click on the settings here. And once you click on settings, you can click and uh, type regional and language settings. Once you click on regional and language settings, click on additional time and regional settings. And uh, right here, uh, you can go ahead and select change location. Under change location, go to formats. Under formats, uh, make sure you're selecting the right language here. If it is English United States, that's where the location, if your location is United States here, uh, make sure you select English United States, not any other. So let me go ahead and select English United States under formats and under location, um, you will have to select United States. So these two has to be matched. Let's say if you're in a different country, uh, you will um, the same thing has to match. The format has to match with the location and the formats. So click on apply and then click on OK and then try to open Windows Store. Uh, if it opens, well and good. If not, there's another step what you need to try. So you will have to open, uh, you will have to press Windows and R key on your keyboard, uh, which will open the run command, or else um, in the search, you can type run. In, in the run window, you will have to go ahead and type wsreset.exe and hit enter on the screen. Now what this will do is it will go ahead and uh, reset your Windows Store. So um, one, if once um, it is done, you can uh, try launching a uh, Windows uh, Store and see if that works. If this works, it's well and good. Uh, you don't have to uh, try the next step. If this step doesn't work, uh, the third step what you will have to try is you will have to open Windows PowerShell. So in the search, you will have to type PowerShell, the Windows PowerShell, right click on it and click on run as administrator. And if you get a prompt, if you get a user access control prompt, you will have to click on yes. Now this will open up Windows PowerShell on your computer screen. Now, in the Windows PowerShell, you will have to go ahead and type the command. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, do a right click and click on edit and click on paste and type this command. Um, I'm going to paste this command um, in the uh, in this video description and um, you can follow that command. So you will have to do a right click on it, edit and then click on paste because you will not be able to paste the uh, command directly into Windows PowerShell. Once you have the command here, you will have to uh, paste it here. You will have to hit enter. So what this will do is uh, it will go ahead and try to repair your Windows PowerShell. In case uh, if you get any error message, you don't have to worry about it. You can just ignore that uh, error message. So let's wait uh, to complete this command. It's almost uh, 75. Oh, there are different multiple stages here. It's uh, deploying uh, the .NET framework uh, for your on your computer to repair your Windows Store. So now what it has done is it has repaired the um, app man manifest.xml file which is associated with uh, with your Windows app. So if you scroll up, you will see that uh, app, app has been registered. Now there are a couple of error message what you look at the screen. You can ignore this error message. If it works, it's well and good. You can try closing Windows PowerShell and try launching Windows Store. It should fix the problem. In case if this doesn't fix the problem, uh, the next thing you will have to, um, to try is um, 
the next step would be you will have to open um, the PowerShell again. In the search box, go ahead and type PowerShell. Right click on the Windows PowerShell and click on Run as Administrator. If you get a prompt, click on Yes. So now we have Windows PowerShell open on the computer screen. Now in the Windows PowerShell, you will have to do a right click at the top and click on Edit and paste this command um, in the Windows PowerShell and hit Enter. As soon as you hit Enter, uh, it will try um, giving unrestricted uh, command for the Windows PowerShell. So it looks like we're getting this error message. If this is successful you can try opening a windows store and that should fix a problem in case if this doesn't work uh, uh, you can try another step here uh, try closing windows power sh shell again go to the uh, search and type windows power shell back type power shell right click on windows power shell and click on run as administrator and click on yes and follow the same step do a right click at the top at the bar and click on edit and click on paste and try hitting enter and see if uh, it will execute this command here it will deploy the um, apps package so this is going to take a while um, if this works you can try um, once it is completed you can try opening windows store and see if it works if this these steps doesn't work there's one more step uh, what i'm going to suggest you uh, please stay tuned till the end of this video you can ignore this error message the execution is complete and try opening windows store uh, if this works oh, uh, well and good you don't have to follow the last step which i'm going to suggest you uh, the last step would be um, that's a pretty simple it's an inbuilt uh, uh, windows repair tool uh, troubleshooting tool uh, which you will have to uh, access it by going to search and type troubleshooter try typing troubleshoot and uh, this will give you the list of uh, inbuilt windows troubleshooter you can scroll down a bit and uh, look for windows app store and click on run the troubleshooter what this will do is it will go ahead and uh, try to repair the uh, windows store uh, by using the windows troubleshooter so what this does is it tries to reset the registry settings for your windows app store and it will try to uh, res and op once the reset is complete it will try to open windows store now this step is going to take a while since uh, since in my case i have a lot of apps installed on my machine that's the reason it is uh, going through all the apps what has been installed and um, that's how now it says detecting additional problem checking registry keys i have windows uh, app store open on the computer now the uh, troubleshooting has completed however uh, it says that windows store cache may be damaged so you don't have to worry about it because any which ways uh, the windows store is open so this is how you can um, uh, go ahead and fix your windows store problem you can uh, try uh, the all the steps what i mentioned and not to forget to look at the description and let me know your, with your comments if these steps what i mentioned and also mention which steps fix the problem so that it will be helpful for me to create or if uh, let me uh, let me know if i have to create another video or not i can do a more research on on how to fix a windows app store and let let me know in the comment section thank you for watching you have a great day